Hi everybody, my name is Amanda and I'm making this video to tell you about my friend Jackson Strecker. Jackson and I have been friends for a really really long time. In fact, we were only born a couple of days apart in the month of July. So we've been friends for as long as I can remember. We've been going to the same church forever and ever and ever. And we got confirmed on the same day and we had our first communion on the same day. So he's been a part of my life for a really really long time. Um, as well as our friend Winston who was born only a couple days apart from us in July. So we were kind of like, um, kind of like the three musketeers. Jackson and I also dated for about a year and he and Winston and Shane, my boyfriend now, are all in a band called The Lead Pipes that actually started in my garage. Just the other day, I got a phone call at about like 11 at night from Ariel, Jackson's girlfriend and, and my good friend asking if I had seen him that day. I said, no. I asked her, why is something wrong? And she said that uh, she heard Jackson was in the hospital and nobody knew why, nobody knew what had happened. He was okay just a couple of days before. We learned that after he was admitted to the hospital that he has something called an arteriovenous malformation in his brain, which is a small mass of veins kind of jumbled up in his brain and it burst and it caused a lot of bleeding in his brain. This AVM, the arteriovenous malformation, has caused a lot of damage to his brain, especially in the speech center. So he can't really talk right now. He can say yes and no and okay and nod and shake his head and little things like that. But um, they told us it's gonna take a lot of speech therapy to get him to get him talking again. Because of all the swelling and the blood loss and the trauma that this has caused to his brain, he'll have to be in the neuro ICU in a local hospital for a couple of weeks. He won't be able to attend the next semester of school and it's going to be a long, long recovery process for him. So what I'm asking for is not only donations of money, but just your thoughts and your prayers for Jackson and his family and his friends and his girlfriend because they're doing everything they can for him. And it's, it's just going to be a difficult process for everybody. And anything you can give, even if it's just a three-second thought or a three-second prayer, would be really, really appreciated. If you would like updates on how Jackson is doing, you can go to www.caringbridge.org slash visit slash Jackson Strecker. And if you would like to make um, a cash donation, you can go to www.gofundme.com slash help for Jackson.